people who've invented these things, they're clearly very, very important. But perhaps even more important are those of you here who can get behind these ideas, get behind these inventions, and really push them. Well, these are eyeglasses, which have the rather special feature that you can make them yourself. I put them on, I turn the wheel, I've got some fluid inside a lens, and as I change the amount of fluid, the curvature of the lens is changing. This technology has the potential to alter the lives of as many as half the people in the world. You're all hideously in focus. <laughs> I have now a uh, titanium, um, uh, titanium rod implanted into the bone in my leg and allows me to just bolt on my prosthetic leg. It's like my own leg bolts onto me now. It's absolutely amazing. Tonight in Billingsgate in the city, a different group of people are being honoured, those who are making groundbreaking advances in healthcare. If you look at the best ideas, the vast majority has taken about 20 or 30 years from the time I come up with the idea to ever benefiting a patient. And the purpose of this event is to speed up that process and connect the best ideas to the people. Now then, some of the brightest ideas for the future of healthcare are being showcased today and Sky's health correspondent is there. This is a bone sculpting robot. So we're going to use the robot to cut uh, bones very accurately to receive a prosthetic device. The fact that we use a spherical ball means that we can revolutionize implant design. Winning a Medical Futures Innovation Award significantly enhances one's chance of clinical and commercial success. And the winner is Temporary Cardiac Assist, Mr. Samir Nashef and Mr. Stephen Large from the Papworth Hospital NHS Foundation Trust. This is the future. We're sitting in this room tonight very much looking at the future. I think it's absolutely fantastic. What we really want to do is take our idea and transmit it to patients. This was going to help us do it. The winner is... And the winner is... And the winner is... Pneumacare. It's absolutely fantastic. Uh, we're a collaborative team. It's uh, really nice to have two awards tonight showing that we can work as a university, corporate, hospital and private company. So absolutely amazing. Their idea is quite simple but could make a terrific impact on dental patients. It could change dental patients' attitudes to local anaesthetics, I would hope, and that's the dream. We just thought this was a fantastically simple idea that just fit all the criteria for a great piece of innovation. It's really been a great honour to win this award, and we hope that it will inspire people to actually fund us, mm. to take it through to commercialisation. The winner of this year's award has been called a modern-day renaissance man, and has a remarkable ability to combine the scientific left brain with the entrepreneurial right brain. Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to announce that the 2011 Medical Futures Lifetime Achievement Award goes to the unique Professor Rodney Perkins. The NHS must be the world's largest single source of brilliant new ideas. And it's really important to free that creativity and translate those ideas into something that can actually benefit patients. If we manage to make just a few of the ideas happen, then it'll all be worthwhile.